Hello and welcome to another Albion Online Dev Talk. You've probably heard the news. Albion is getting a new server in Asia. In this video, we'll go over what the new server means for Albion Online, how you can find it, and when you can start playing there. We'll also cover the beta and special rewards you can earn on Albion East and West by participating in it. So let's jump right in. The new server will be located in Singapore and will be called Albion East, while the existing world of Albion will now be known as Albion West and remain hosted in Washington DC. You can use the same login credentials on either server, but your characters and your gold wallet will be separate for each server. To connect to one of the servers, you can use the connection widget on the login screen to choose your preferred location though the game will also recommend you the best server based on your internet connection. Of course, you're free to connect to either server no matter where you are in the world. So if you're based in Asia or Oceania and want to continue playing on Albion West, that is no problem at all. And if you're based elsewhere and want to try Albion East, you're more than welcome to as well. Why would you want to play on Albion East? Well, for starters, it's going to provide a much better connection speed for players throughout Asia and Oceania. It also provides an opportunity for a fresh start. Albion has grown immensely in popularity in recent years, but only a small group of players was there to witness the beginning of this world. The start of Albion East is your opportunity to relive the spectacle of seeing a new player-driven world rise from the ground up. And that is going to be exciting, even if you eventually decide to remain on Albion West. Your first opportunity to get those early day feels will be the start of beta on February 20th. During the beta, owners of one of our new Albion East founder packs will be invited to test play the new server in a three week period, where we stress test the hardware and double check our network infrastructure. For you as players, however, there's the opportunity to participate in a very special Albion experience. For the beta, the world has been scaled down massively by blocking off large areas of the map, focusing all play around the city of Matlock, its portal city, and the surrounding lands of each, including Kerlian. Other features have also been adjusted for this beta period, and progression in fame, silver, and resource gathering have been significantly boosted. This should result in a fun three-week period of playing Albion at a much smaller scale and reliving some of those early day experiences. There's also the opportunity to earn unique rewards for your participation. The top five guilds in the beta season ranking at the end of beta will have the opportunity to design their own logo in collaboration with our graphics team, which will then become available as a logo choice on Albion East and West. The top three guilds will also be the first to leave their mark in the world of Albion East, as a statue in their honor will be permanently placed in the open world. Speaking of statues, individual players will also have the opportunity to earn cool reward statues based on earning PvE fame, gathering fame, and accumulating as much silver as possible. These statues can then be claimed as tradable items on Albion East or West, so even if you're not planning to move to the new server, you can still benefit from playing the beta. But isn't getting a founder pack a bit much if you're just wanting to play the beta? Well, first off, except for the name tags, your founder pack rewards are claimable on either server and the skins and avatars are shared between the servers. And if you're not interested in the founder skins, the unlock items will be tradable so you can sell them to other players on either server on the in-game marketplace. Secondly, we're throwing in Albion's next wardrobe skin, the Arcanist and their fearsome arcane boar mount, if you lock into the beta with any founder pack. Of course, these skins unlock for both servers as well. That's insane value. So if you buy the bronze pack for 1995, not only do you get beta access, a month of premium, name reservation and a founder certificate, you also get a $30 skin set and one day of early access to Albion East when it officially launches. The official launch begins on March 15th with the early access for Crystal and Gold founders and ends on March 20th with public access to Albion East for everyone. No progress will be carried over from beta, but your founder reward packs and any earned beta rewards will become claimable on either server at the beginning of early access on March 15th. 
Please note that you will need to buy your Founder Pack by March 14th, 10 UTC, to reserve your character and guild names from Albion West on Albion East. So what will playing on Albion East be like? Well, it's the same game, but with an all new fresh start and with some important adjustments. Many timers from Territory Warfare to Crystal League matches have been adjusted to happen at ideal times for Southeast Asian time zones, and the regular maintenance for Albion East will happen at midnight UTC. Though patches will still be deployed at 10 UTC as both servers share the same game client. And what about the world size? Well, we anticipate Albion East to grow over time, just as West did. This will be a process that is hard to predict how exactly that plays out, so we're trying to strike a balance which leaves enough room for growth, while at the same time ensuring space is limited enough for players to compete over. The Royal Continent will be available in full, but initially we'll be blocking off chunks of the Outlands and the Roads of Avalon, which we'll unblock based on the amount of activity we see. I hope you're just as excited about this new chapter in Albion's history as we are. Get on board for the beta start on February 20th and get ready for the launch of Albion East on March 15th. I want to thank you for watching and look forward to sharing more details about what else is coming to Albion in 2023 in more dev talks coming soon. Stay tuned.